the Professional Footballers Association has recommended an independent review is held into the organization as under fire chief executive Gordon Taylor published an open letter to members defending his work. Taylor, who has been in his role for 37 years, has come under increasing scrutiny in recent days after Sportsmail revealed he tried to oust his own chairman, Ben Perkis, for first raising the idea of a review. In the letter written to members on Wednesday, Taylor announced a full and open investigation led by an independent QC will be recommended, adding, I have dedicated the last 40 years of my life to professional football. PFA Chief Executive Gordon Taylor has come under increasing scrutiny in recent days I am extremely proud of the work we do, supporting our members, whether that's through training and coaching programs, or promoting diversity and equality in the sport. I am happy to defend our record including on issues such as mental health, diversity and player welfare but I am the first to admit that there are always areas we can improve. We owe it to you, our members, to hold ourselves to the highest possible standards. Taylor may be in breach of both trade union and PFA rules if he has managed to remain chief executive for 37 years without having to stand for re-election. Perkis, meanwhile, has since seen more than 200 current and former players joining the call for a review. The idea of an independent review was first raised by PFA Chairman Ben Perkis, right? The PFA itself issued a statement on Wednesday, which read, The PFA, as the world's oldest professional sport union, has only been a success by listening to our members and continually evolving to meet their needs. We owe it to our members and to football to hold ourselves to the highest possible standards. We believe we do. However, criticism must not be swept under the carpet. We will therefore be recommending to the Board of Trustees and Management Committee that an independent QC conducts a full and open review into the structure and operation of the PFA as the trade union for professional footballers in England and Wales. An independent review also has the support of the Dawn Assel the daughter of former West Brom and England star Jeff Assel, who died in 2002 of a degenerative brain disease. She has repeatedly clashed with Taylor over the union's response to the growing evidence which suggests that disease is linked to heading the ball. Last year, the PFA finally agreed to commit £100,000 for research into the matter, but this was less than 5% of Taylor's 2017 pay of £2. £2 million and less than 1% of its annual income of nearly £28 million. In an open letter to members, 
PFA Chief Taylor said, I am extremely proud of the work we do those huge discrepancies are just two of the issues Perkis has raised since becoming PFA Chairman last November. In announcing the review, which must be rubber-stamped by its trustees and management committee, the PFA defended its record. The statement said, over the last few days, we have heard the criticisms leveled at the leadership of the PFA. While we would always defend our record in supporting professional footballers, including on mental health, diversity and player welfare, we accept there are areas we can improve. A time frame for the review is still to be determined. Gordon Taylor's letter Dear Members over the last few days you may have seen some criticism leveled at the leadership of the PFA in the media. We have listened to what has been said about us and taken the time to think carefully about what is in the best interests of our organization and our members. I have dedicated the last 40 years of my life to professional football. I am extremely proud of the work we do, supporting our members, whether that's through training and coaching programs, or promoting diversity and equality in the sport. I am happy to defend our record including on issues such as mental health diversity and player welfare but I am the first to admit that there are always areas we can improve. We owe it to you, our members, to hold ourselves to the highest possible standards. We believe we do. However, I am adamant that criticism must not be swept under the carpet and instead addressed head-on. It is important that we are transparent, committed to constantly improving and restless in our mission to support you. We will, therefore, be recommending to the PFA's Board of Trustees and Management Committee that an independent QC conducts a full and open review into the structure and operation of the PFA as the trade union for professional footballers in England and Wales. We will work closely with both the Board of Trustees and Management Committee to finalise the parameters and timeline of the review, at which point we will update you. We are proud of the work that we do with professional players across all leagues. As you know, we are focused on working with you on some of the most pressing issues in our sport details of which can be found below. If you have any questions about the work of the PFA and how we can support you, please don't hesitate to contact us on 0161 236 0575 or info at FEPFA. co.uk.bestwishes Gordon Taylor OB